Welcome back and thank you all so much for joining me here for another video. I'm really excited to have you here with me because today we are going to be decorating a new furniture piece. We have a new hutch that we incorporated here into our living room area and we are so excited about it. So I thought I would share a little bit of like the details behind it and how my husband refinished it and then we're going to decorate it together. If you follow me over on Instagram, then you have already probably heard the whole story because I shared the backstory of it over there and like the before and after and all of that. But now I'm going to do a YouTube video on it so that y'all can kind of see the process. Um, and hopefully this will inspire you with some spring hutch decorating ideas because we're going to be decorating it for spring today. One of our friends said he had a hutch and an antique buffet that he was going to be getting rid of and we could come look at if we wanted before he got rid of them um, and we could have them to redo or fix up if we wanted them. So we went over to look at them that same day and we fell in love with them. We both love old furniture and we could instantly just see the potential in these pieces. They both had some water damage and they also had veneer that was peeling off and you know if you've watched my channel for a while how much we absolutely don't like veneer and we always love to take that off and expose it back to the like original wood that's under the veneer so we immediately both saw the potential and we were like those would be beautiful if you could get that veneer off and expose the beautiful natural wood that's under it so my husband immediately got to work on the hutch he finished it literally in one day because it was so easy to sand once he got the veneer off um, he fixed the latch the door wouldn't securely close it just swung open so he fixed that to where it latched and we added a new little knob to it it's a really pretty crystal knob and it is such a beautiful piece we are so thankful he thought of us and just so thankful to have this piece Okay, now we'll get started with decorating it. I just wanted to share the backstory really quick. I know some of you absolutely do not like when I go into all the details and share the backstory behind pieces, but I feel like the backstory is so important because that is like part of the puzzle of how your home comes together as you thrift pieces here and there, as kind friends and family gift you pieces or pass pieces down to you. Um, as you you know collect things over time finding them at random yard sales and random antique stores and your home slowly starts to come together like i feel like those are just the pieces that make it i talk about it all the time but they have a story and i feel like their story is important to hear where they came from and um how they've been passed down to us or how we thrift them or find them and add them to our home it just makes for a beautiful collected space and i just think it's special so i hope that you enjoyed the little backstory now let's get on into decorating and i also will share with you a little layout of the room now of how it all looks after trying it out in a few different spaces we ended up landing on this corner because it really balanced out the room nice to have another wooden piece over on this side and it also added that antique feel over here that we really love and that we want to add more of into the living room so what I decided to do since I still really loved the look of these shelves and I felt like this wall still needed some good height to match the bookcase that is on the other side of this window. I wanted the heights to match since this is a shorter hutch. So I decided to take the bottom shelf off and then I um, raised the height of the top shelf to where it kind of lined up with that bookshelf and just made the walls kind of like more symmetrical. And then we scooted this new hutch back here in this corner and I tried it flat on both walls and it ended up actually looking better catty cornered and I felt like it just made more of a focal point like that so I decided to do that and then now I'm just going to add all of this decor into it I really wanted to add a lot of like my floral dishes and transferware um some of my jadeite some of my McCoy pieces and stuff like that especially for spring to really pull in all those pastel colors um of all those dishes and then at the top I'm gonna add books and a few floral pieces and a little basket that I'll share in just a minute um, and I have also thought about maybe getting some lights to go up in here so that that way when the hutch is closed you can kind of see all the dishes a little bit better and then I could also one day maybe wallpaper the back of this I don't know just a few ideas we'll see I like to live with something for a little bit before I before I decide to make any like really big changes like that to it um, so I might order lights eventually and I might you know do things like that later on but this is 
for now how the hutch looks and then here's a before clip of the hutch before my husband sanded it and I wish I had a picture of the buffet to show y'all that matches this but it is in the very back of our building and I don't have any pictures of it but once we redo that piece I will do a whole video on it and share with you how that looks um but I cannot believe how much better the hutch looks sanded I just love this beautiful raw wood color I know I keep saying that but I'm just obsessed with this look and I feel like it really makes the natural wood of the piece just shine and I feel like it really makes the room just feel so cozy So with the hutch being now over in that corner, we did move our little armchair over here beside the couch and I love having it here now because it really feels like part of the space now. We didn't really sit in it before because it was so far out of the like view of the TV and it was just like over there by itself so it didn't really feel like it was connected with the rest of the room if we would sit there I would sit there sometimes to edit but like at nights when we we're watching TV and stuff like that it never really got sat in and now since we've moved it here one of us has sat in it every other night because we just love having it here it's just really comfy and it's just like really part of the like central space now I feel like I don't really know how to describe it I just know we love it and there was a little bit of confusion in my last video. I got a few messages like, please tell me you're not keeping that chair there right in front of the door. Why is that chair there? Um, but I think it was just the angle because it's not blocking the door at all. If we need to open it, we don't ever open that door. I've talked about this before. We never use that door because there's not a driveway or anything connected to it. It just opens up into a big field basically. And... Uh, it doesn't lead to anything so we never need to open it our driveway and our porch all is in the back so that is why we never really use that door um, but even if we do need to open it there's still plenty of room but when the camera is facing this way and like I'm sitting on the couch I guess it does look like it's like right in front of the door blocking it but don't worry there's still plenty of room and like I said even if it did block the walkway it wouldn't matter because we never even opened that door but this is how everything is looking i'm gonna explain the new um additions to that bookshelf in a future video i wallpapered the back with old sheet music so we're going to be decorating that in a future video and i thought i would add that there is also still plenty of room to recline it so that's awesome
thank you all so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed seeing how i decorated our new furniture piece today and stay tuned because i'm going to be having a lot more spring decorating videos coming really soon and i have some more little furniture projects and things i'm going to be sharing in my upcoming videos um and i would also love to hear in the comments below i think it would be fun if you all shared some of your furniture stories with me or if you have just any piece that is really special to you i would love to hear how you got it or where you got it from and um, maybe if you refinished it or redid it or just how you added it to your home I would love to hear the story behind some of your special pieces because I feel like those are the pieces that just add such a beautiful uniqueness to our homes so I would love to hear a special piece that you have and how you got it in the comments below I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you all next time